hi welcome back to another video um if you're wondering why everything is orange it's because ulta is orange um also i did my makeup like orangey um i'll insert a picture right here today i'm going to be doing a ulta haul but also like what i got for the ulta 21 days of beauty haul because number one, I didn't do it when it ended because when that one ended, I started to prepare myself for the Sephora 20% uh, off thing. Well, for me it was because I'm rouge, but the VIB sale. So, hello. So that's what I did again. We love loud noises. Also, I straightened my hair. If you don't know, my hair um, isn't straight. Uh, it's it's cute i think <laughs> these bangs are here um but i like the way that they laid when my hair was out so i kept them out and now they're getting in the way um so yeah there are some continuity errors blame the bangs all right so let's get started we're gonna go from march to april 18th because that's the last purchase that I made or adjustment that was made to my account from my points history. So that's how we're gonna go, starting right now. Okay, so we're gonna start on March 5th of 2021, of course, because that's the year that we're in. Oh God. Um, first, I got the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Wisp, which is my favorite one. I have four of them and I bought another one during this time period, so you'll see another one, but this one is the prettiest one that I have. It's like a nice like light gold color. Um, now it won't open. I'm wearing it right now and it's just so pretty. It's literally my favorite one out of the four. Besides Monster, cause that's like a very pink, but you know, that's not like an everyday highlight. Anyways, next I was on a hunt for brown lipsticks. I now have plenty, don't need any more. But I got this NYX uh, suede matte lipstick in cold brew. And I also have the liner, but I got that from a different place. So it's not in here. And I got this cleansing balm because I always wanted to try one. And out of all the ones that I've tried, I think that this is my favorite. Because it's like very emollient. It gets all slippy and actually cleans everything. And it's only $10. But I got it for cheaper because I had a discount. And I got all of that stuff because I wanted to get these. There were four of them. There were two in the shade Passion, I think. It's in my last video, the declutter that I made. And um, now I kept the shades Boss in, in the matte formula and Madeline in the cream. And it, it was just, you spend however much probably like $25 or $35 because my total came up to $22.50 and I didn't get that much of a discount off. Um, and then you get four Kylie lipsticks, which I always wanted to try the shade Boss, um, but alone it was like $18. So, you know, get the set and then you get all of them full size. But they took out one of them that I was supposed to get another matte one. I, I just got three creams, two were double and then one matte. So. I didn't get to try the other color, but still, they were free. And four whole lipsticks, I gave two away. So, you know, share the wealth. Okay, now starts the 21 days of beauty purchases. So my friend like raved about this liner, this Stila liner, because she got a recommendation from my other friend. Um, and I actually, swatched it on my hand it's like pretty nice and doesn't really come off with the uh, cleansing balm that I bought so that's gonna be a problem when I actually have to take it off um, I don't use a lot of liquid liner so I just kept it in the box because I only swatched it on my hand when I put it on my eyes I'll take it out put it where it's supposed to go but so far it's good it's originally 22 but I got it for 11 and then I also just got this because I wanted it the entire time and I got the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadow and Truffles because I had Hot Jalapeno and the Pumpkin one. It's like Pumpkin Pie or Pumpkin Spice. Gave the Pumpkin one away recently. 
um, because I had those two for like a year and never opened them but I got this one and opened it immediately and I primarily wanted it because it was like this silvery shade so look at that I love that and then all these browns because that's really what I go for like brown and then I wanted a lot of silvers because I barely have any silver and gray so yeah that's why I got that and next as you all know becca is going out of business in september even though they just launched a new product which is very stupid why would you do that um because people are not going to buy something they can't get literally in a couple of months but i got one of their highlighters because i've always wanted one it was one of those things that like everybody had that was like "Ooh, let me get so I got the shade Topaz because I was going to get Prosecco Pop because I wasn't going to get Champagne Pop because I watched a very old Jackie Ina review and it looked very um, icy white. So I was going to get Prosecco Pop because, you know, it was deeper, but it was sold out. Um, I could have got it online, but I wasn't going to wait for like the mail for one thing. So I just got the one and had it like be a pickup order and I got it from my store. So that that's what I got uh, on March 19th. Yay. It's originally 38, but I got it for 19. We love saving money. The next day was my biggest day, okay? And it was the most anticipated. If I got nothing, I wanted this. That is the only thing that I cared about. Got you, got you. So, Nobla palettes. Bro, baby, okay baby who am i okay <laughs> wow you just don't want to open so i got two cutie palettes and the secret palette from nabla and the cutie palettes if i could only get one would have been this one platinum baby oh my god even this <sighs> bro bro like 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 not only did I want more silvers and grays, so this was already something that I wanted because I literally have no silver. Like I had shimmers and glitters, but not silver, just straight up silver shadow. Did not have any. So not only did I want that, but I always wanted a Nabla item because number one, Italian made. And like number two, just it always was raved about. Like people were always like, this is the best one. And the mirrors are like nice. I'm not gonna show the mirror because then it would just, you know, show the phone that I'm recording on. But <laughs> that's already everything. And then I was like, let me get another one. Two for the price of one, literally, because the tiny cuties are $24, meaning two of them during the sale were $24. So if I would have actually spent $24 on one of them, I was most definitely going to get two for the price of one. And I got the coral palette. This red is immaculate, okay? This literally beats out the freaking Pat McGrath red that I have, which is from a mini palette, but still Pat McGrath. Um, and this one in Mandarin, we love we literally love so yeah those are the two cutie palettes that I've wanted to snatch the entire time but when I was looking um, through reviews I watched Angelica Nequivis I think that's how you say her last name her review and she ranked all of the palettes and I watched swatches and looked at swatches and I decided that it would be good for me not for my money but good for me if I got the secret palette. I wanted to get the poison, but Angelica said that that was just not the color uh, move to go because some of the shadows didn't work. But look at the secret palette and look at how big that mirror is. Look at you. Just a slight angle and you can see. Um, like, look at that. Beautiful. And when I swatched it, it kind of looked like um, the Urban Decay Wild West that's like the blues and then the bottom row kind of looked like it when I swatched it so dupe dare I say so yeah um didn't even put the sheet back in that was what I actually cared about getting from the sale 
and it's all I really wanted the entire time. If I got nothing else and nobody else, you know, re recommended other things, that's all I would have gotten. And just like the feeling of these palettes, especially this one, it's just like the texture, immaculate, the design, the box, creativity, like the boxes for these are clear. This one literally doesn't even have like a full box. It literally just like slips back on. So whatever, but it's still like amazing we love it's blinding um so that was that day and that's literally all i wanted the entire sale and they really live up to the hype i love um if i have a picture that i'm willing to put up i will put up what a look that i did with the platinum palette right here um but yeah i really really wanted that platinum palette and i'm glad that i got it because it's just immaculate chef's kiss everything the next day mess i went into the store um i got a backup of no not even a backup i finished it i got another one of my nyx this is everything lip oil which is currently in my bag open and on my lips under what i'm wearing um because that is literally my favorite like lip balm and i have a drawer of lip balm that i can use but like i like that and it will make a reoccurrence twice in this video because i got a lot of backups anyways so then i got the parasol super shock which was the other one that i bought during this time period this is march 22nd by the way and it's like the becca one in shade but it's lighter when it goes on the skin but it's like a very like dark gold which I don't really like, but it's a nice formula because it's the same as the other ones. But this is not my favorite out of the four that I have. So, yeah, that was that. And I also got a palette that shall not be named, but it will be named because I got to kind of tell you what it is. And it is the freaking uh, I Heart Revolution. One of the Revolution brands, um, Turkish palette, the little bootleg chocolate bar palette. I'll insert a picture if I remember to do that. Um, I'll screenshot it right now, honestly. And this wasn't a part of the deal. I just went into the store and decided to spend money unnecessarily. And I returned this, which will be in the next thing. So, next. <laughs> so two days later, March 24th, I did a purchase and return, we love. Um, I got two Z palettes. It only says quantity one, but they're lying. Um, and the Z palettes that I got look like this one, exactly the same, but they don't have any shadows in them. When I keep my tools in for depotting and the extra um, magnets that come with these. And then one is completely sealed with like still everything on it just in case I don't use it. Um, so then I can like give it away completely untouched. But I got two because they were $2. I don't know why they were having a sale that day, but they were. So... I was already gonna get one and then I decided to get another one since they were two dollars that day and for this one I paid five don't even remember why I paid five I think because I returned something and then that balanced out the cost I don't remember but I paid five dollars for this and like I said two for the price of one if I was already gonna buy the one for whatever price then I might as well just get two since I was dead thinking that these were five dollars and not two <laughs> even the lady that checked me um, out she said she would get some after her shift so like that was a good deal for everybody involved next i got the bff3 colourpop lippy pencil yeah okay we love memorizing things because this is the darkest shade that they have in the liners and i you know hunt for brown and i never had a brown liner except for the one that goes with the brown lipstick that I got earlier but I got that after I got this from a different place so it doesn't count so leave me alone okay um and then I got all of these just a tense because they were all on sale for four dollars when I got my other one in chimichanga for six seven eight one of those prices um I got the shades 
Cutie Fruity, Maui Wowie, and Cherry Pickin'. And Cherry Pickin' is my favorite. I'm wearing it today. It's a nice brown color. Maui Wowie is like very like pink, um, like salmon color. And then Cutie Fruity is just like a redder version of um, Cherry Pickin'. But Cherry Pickin' and Cutie Fruity are the ones that I've been stalking online. Like I put it into my basket move it out, put it into my basket, move it out. So when I saw that they were having the sale and they had everything because they added a new section in my Ulta where they have these now, I got it. <laughs> so yeah, Ulta's making me spend all the money on ColourPop because I really like ColourPop, but I hate the shipping. Although unlike other people, I actually get my stuff, um, but it just takes too long. She's a man eater. Anyways. March 27th only got one thing it was a very impulsive buy because I got it online um to deliver it to the store it is originally $23 but I had $11.50 off so it was $11.50 because this was a part of the 21 days of beauty I only got this because I think with that look that I did with the Nabla palette I used a mini that I got from a set of mascaras and I just have a, you know, sample mascara drawer because I just have random ones that I'd never tried and I don't want to open like all of them. So I took that one out randomly and I was like, whoa, I like it. And that's the one I'm wearing today because I, for videos, I like to wear whatever I am talking about. So I used it and I was like, bro, this is actually good. This is like kind of beating the Ilia. That I literally compare everything to because that's the one that I like the most because it combs out the lashes. Okay, anyways, there's not a Sephora video. So I went to just see how much this was. Oh, that's blinding. But I, I just went to see how much it was because I like the mini. Please tell me why that was the day that it went on sale for the 21 Days of Beauty and it was literally like 10 p.m. And I was like, no time to think. Bye. So that's what I got. Like it was a perfect time, like the stars aligned. The world said you need this mascara. So try it today, see that you like it, search it up and also get it. So I got it. I also think that that's the birthday gift for May and my birthday is in May. So if that is the birthday gift, I'm getting another one. My voice is literally choking me. Um, I've been talking for a long time. Next is the last day of March because I decided to go inside of a store. Every single time I go to the mall, I'm like, oh yes, let's just pop into Ulta. Let's just look at what they have and I buy something. So I got this candle. They didn't sell the candles in store the last time that I went. So I would have gotten it when I had to spend um, the whatever, what was it, 1950 to get the little um, like ulta bag which this wasn't the one that i got i got a blue one because my mom wanted it um so that's what i got for her and i just got two things to equal that which wow two things costing 1950 crazy dog um but ocean air bro i like clean because you can smell it why did i just hold up to the camera that's <laughs> right did you not just see me <laughs> we're gonna ignore that that didn't happen right. if you think that happened it didn't um <laughs> ocean air i was in between this one and sparkling clementine because these are the ones that you know been stalking online put it in the cart take it out put it in the cart take it out um but i like to buy candles in store because then you can actually smell it even though it's through a mask you can have a scent instead of none at all um, you know, like how when when I just went like that, you know, you don't know what that smells like. You see white. Um, it's a three wick candle. It's pretty big. It has 15 ounces in it or 425 grams. So yeah, it's a pretty big candle. I don't really burn candles, but I like to like, you know, look at them and they smell nice. But yeah, got that. And then I also got a lippy stick in Goldie. It's a matte formula and I was going to wear this, but then I was like, that's too dark for what I got going on right now. Um, so yeah, I got this because I got this from my cousin um, and I liked it. So I decided to get myself one. 
So yeah. April 1st was the last day that I got anything from the 21 Days of Beauty. And it was all of this. Okay. Yeah, see, I got I got two of these lip oils. Um, and I'll tell you about another lip oil experience when I get to it. I got this bag at some point, one one time. Um, it comes with a lot of, you know, little Ulta Beauty samples. I gave some away. I used some already. Like, I got another packet of the wipes from the blue bag that I got for my mom, but bye. Um, I got this sharpener because it was one of the things that were in the little bin when I was standing in line. That's one. I got this eyeshadow, which I'm wearing all over my eyes. You'll see in the picture. This bottom one right here in autumn. And it's originally $8.50. Please tell me why I got it for $0.85 cents in the clearance bin. Wait for things to go on sale. Do not pay $8 for this. Thank you. Um. Okay. <laughs> Oh, also, this was clearance. It was originally $8.99, but I got a $4.50 discount on it. And it's the Flower Beauty Pop Fanatic Eye Pigment and Buzz. F oh, PF2, which is what it says. Oh, Pop Fanatic 2. Okay, anyways. But yeah, it's a nice pigment. And it's very creamy. I like it. But those were clearance. What I actually went in there for was my first aid beauty i freaking love this and I, I got the gigantic size of it like months ago but i didn't open it because i I was on a mission to finish all of my tiny sample creams that i got from sephora from all those little samples and um like sephora favorite bags that i got so i got a mini because i was like if i do want to open up a cream i don't want to open up that jumbo until i'm ready to only use that Okay, anyways, so it comes with the cleanser, which I literally have two of these right now that I have not used, so I should probably try that because it's the third one I got. And the Ultra Repair Cream and the Squeezy Tube. I hate the tub, don't like it. The jumbo that I got is also in a Squeezy Tube, and I got it from Ulta, not Sephora, because Sephora doesn't sell it in the Squeezy Tube because they're rude. But yeah, I got this set, which is, you know, got them. Um, originally $24 because, you know, $12 each, but I got it for 12 And then I got this KKW lip liner in red because I didn't have any red lip liners at the time of purchase. I now have another one because CVS just gave a free item if it was under $5. Like, that was just one of the coupons my mom had, and she loves her extra care rewards, okay? So, we use them all the time, and it just said you get a free item as long as it's under $5. So, I made sure to get a free item, and I had to find one that was under $5. So, I do have another one now, but I got this one. It's very creamy. It's very nice. Oh, I should probably show you the uh, other lip liner that I have because it's kind of busted not as cute as this one uh she's busted and used i do have to sharpen um that's why i bought the sharpener because i did not have a sharpener that wasn't literally from like dollar tree for my colored pencils but yeah i got this just because it was on sale and this is red one and it was originally 12 dollars, but i got it for six so next i got the Infinity Pro by Con Air Try Ombre Dryer, which is just a dryer, hair dryer. I don't know why it needs all of these words. Um, my mom actually got that, but since I was already in there to buy stuff, I, it's just under my account. So then what I came in there for was the NYX Everything Lip Oil because it was buy one, get one half off for all the NYX products. So they're originally six, so I would have gotten one for six and one for three. And I got this normal one, the one that I actually use. And then I also got one that was just different. I do not know. I don't know how I picked that up and didn't see it. I saw that the wrapper was different. It was like a unicorn foil instead of like the plain clear wrapper that's on this. And I just didn't think anything of it. I just thought that they, they just changed the packaging or something. No, it's a whole different product. It's it's the same thing. It's a lip oil, but it, it had tint in it. This is sheer. This is clear. Nothing on it. 
like I, I had other ones that were colored um that's how I got into this from my NYX advent calendar years ago that I didn't decide to use until now but um they were still like clear it was like purple and red but they came on like very clear so it didn't actually matter that was like pink like Pepto-Bismol pink so I returned it and that's what is going to be in the next thing Okay, on my account, these transactions came up kind of weird. Um, so first, these are all April 18th, right? So first, I returned this, which was the lip oil that I told you about. Although that's literally the last thing up here, even though I did that first. And then the first thing here is actually, first thing is actually one of the last things I did. Not even one. This is the last thing that I did. I was literally waiting for the freaking Uber to come. And then I decided to get this because I kind of went in there for it and forgot to get it. But, um, because it was five times points. Or no, three times points. Um, so this is originally nineteen fifty, And I got the base points of $19 and then the bonus points of 39 And I also, you know, did the roundup to donate, which I got a... Uh, one point for that so this came up to 2027 no it actually came up to 22 that's what I actually spent I remember because I didn't get any money back I paid the exact amount but I got 59 points on it and it's just a Dermalogica micropore mist is supposed to help do something it just seemed the most appealing and I got points for it okay so that's that's just what I got um, I read the thing, it's, a, it's supposed to help like mask me, which I don't get, I don't really get acne at all, flex, you know, uh -huh. but I, I figured it could be good. It stinks though, but it dries down super smooth and nice. I sprayed it on my arm and I didn't have a reaction, so I could spray it on my face, but from it, it just stinks. That's all I know about it right now, so I can't really give you a little review um okay and then the, the last amount of things that i got right so this is what we actually went in there for i went in there to return the lip oil that was my mission and then to get this orange blush i wanted an orange blush that's all i wanted because i'm very much yellow and you can see it there it's it's beautiful um and I like the way that this comes out and then, you know, you can squeeze the product out if you really want some more. You don't have to dip it all the way back in if you don't want to. I really like that it's in a squeezy tube. But this is the NYX uh, Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint in Almost Famous and it's very orange. It's what I'm wearing. It looks natural on me because I'm yellow, but it's orange. Uh, but that's this is what I came in here for. So I got a discount on this. This is originally $9, but I only paid like 6 I don't know how it all totaled up uh, because I returned the lip oil, which I got for 3 Uh Yeah, so that's, that's how that worked out. And then another thing that I came in there for was this set because look how cute it is. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And it's the Victor and Rolf Mini Bon Bon set. It's exclusive. That's what it says. It was $20 and you get a lotion and a mini of the perfume, but the mini is actually in the full size bottle, which is what I really like when the minis are in the bottle, because that's what you're really buying the perfume for, the look of it. Like if I just wanted a scent, I could just go to like Dollar Tree, bro. What the heck? There are some good perfumes there. And then because I was getting this already and there's the Mother's Day thing going on literally right now where you can spend $50 and get the tote. My mom is all for bags and it's a Mother's Day tote. So why not? Let's dip in the money. Um, so this was already $20. We were just looking for something that cost 30. So Burberry, this was exactly $30. The Burberry um, Her London Dream. It smells very good, it's a roller ball. But it was $30 and then I also got the Ariana Grande Cloud which was $22 because it smells sticky and I don't know if you know what I mean but it smells like when little kids are running around with like ices and I mean little kids that don't know how to wash their hands so yeah like one or two and they just smell like sticky it smells sticky so that's what it smells like but I like that um so I got it and 
that's all I got besides, you know, the bag and I rounded up to the donate the 81 cents. <laughs> uh, and she has the bag in her closet, so I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to get the whole bag just to show you, but we got the blue um, version of it. Favorite color is blue. And that's all I got. Um, I really want the Ariana Grande, like the heart one, the full size of that. I like that one. This one I like, but not as much, even though, you know, I got this in a spray form. It's not a rollerball like the Burberry. Um, I, I like the heart one actually. It doesn't smell sticky. It smells nice. So, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching this haul and actually sticking it out for however long this is because since one section is already like 10 minutes alone, I'm going to assume this is going to be like close to 30 if I can't really edit it down. So thank you for watching this long. If you did watch this long, here's a picture of a cat doing something. The cat is primarily my cat, Samantha, because we have the most pictures of her since she comes in our room the most. Um, so I will find one. I don't know what it is yet though. And yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that good jazz. Watch my last video if you want to see what I decluttered. Um, look out for another declutter and another haul because you know, Sephora had their sale. I had money. Things happen. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's the end of this video. Comment down below if you like my hair. That's all I care about, though. I mean, also, like, comment down below what you got from the sale, I mean. We, we like a community. We like, you know, people talking. Um, I've been talking for about seven minutes in just this section, so I'm going to end this right now. Roll that outro. Bye! <laughs>